Hi folks and welcome back. Tonight we're going to be doing part two of a challenge from uh, Stacy on the vintage lures. So, uh, gonna be using three colors in this bait glossy black, apple red, and uh, good lord, iridescent green. Wow, I gotta put my glasses on to see anything anymore, folks. That's because you're old, you know. All see, white. the meanness is coming out. Tell me I'm all white bearded and crap. Well, can, it used to be so cool. It was like a calico cat. It had red. I can fix that. Watch this. <laughs> red so, and kind of brown and hey, kind need, of a You need to leave what I look like out of this. So. I liked it. And now it's just, you know, like gray. gray. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm old. So, Stacy, I'm going to give this a shot. I hope I'm getting the colors close. If I don't, you be sure to tell me so that I can adjust it and make another one. So uh, we're going to start with our black. And we don't need a whole lot of that. So just one little lure. We're going to do it on a 1.5 square bill. If you're new to my channel, folks, well, I welcome you. My name is Charlie and uh, me and my wife, Melissa. This is what we do. <laughs> Actually, this ain't really what we do for a living. This is what we do for fun. She owns a real estate company, and I am a postmaster. So, that's about how far that goes. I'm a postmaster that's getting ready to retire here in a few years. And then it's full-time lures. I can't wait. I am so ready to do that full time. When we do that, that's when we'll expand into building our own fishing rod line and all of that. That's all coming for me. That's how I plan to retire. I used to build fly rods as a young man and I want to do it again. So we're going to start with our black. And just get the top of this bait and let it kind of fade down the side just a hair. I think I'll just bring that black right back to that eye and stop. Always remember, folks, to get your nose painted. I know y'all probably get tired of hearing me preach about that, but I have actually purchased some lures from a custom painter at one time that the nose was still white and I was not happy about it so so there's our black for now we'll come back to black later let me clean this brush out and we'll dry that up and uh, we'll move on so Mr. Stacy sent this challenge to me and this is part two He's got one challenge that I've already done and he was very happy with the recreation of the vintage lures. So it was fun to do. So I decided it's a good day to get his other one done. It's nice and cloudy and foggy and kind of rainy outside this afternoon. So it's a good place to be is in the shop. Where my wife can hem me up in the corner and be mean to me. You know, folks, I talk a lot of crap about my wife on here, and it's all true. All of it. All of it. But we've had uh, 26 years of marriage. It's been pretty good. She's only shot me one time. so. You're going to have to tell him that story now. Because I will. Because you keep telling him I shot you, which she I did. did. She did. Don't get nervous, Stacy. That black will change colors here in a minute, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Our next color we're going to go with is a apple red. It's a deco art, and it just gets that red on the throat of that bait. 
and very little of it. So, folks, we got a, an exciting new thing fishing to come up. Uh, we're working out the details. Uh, we're going to help a new YouTuber get started. All that's come up, and I'll do a video. Uh, we're going to give them some cameras. Some very expensive cameras. A camera. A camera. A very expensive camera. Uh, we're going to pay it forward. So, once that I get all the details hammered out in that, I will uh, do a video. So, how that these guys that are just trying to start out can actually earn their camera from us. We have just upgraded our camera again and I think that we're getting pretty close to the top of the line. The top camera. No? <laughs> top not, of my line. <laughs> not even close. Not even close but it's better than what we got. No. No? Well, why the hell did I spend all that money? Because I want that one to stay there and I want one to move around and well actually it's probably the one I use to do my podcast yeah that will be starting here shortly so there's our red right underneath we'll be doing a podcast about tackle fishing rods the whole nine yards uh, I don't know exactly when all that's going to get started but it will probably be on Saturday afternoon Maybe Sunday. I don't know yet. We're just getting all that hammered out. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call it. Tackle time. That's taken. That's taken too. So y'all leave in the comments below what y'all would like to name my podcast. And help me name it, folks. Hook and bobber. <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I think it needs to be like ugly dog stinkers. Stinkers? Stinkers. I you know it. all the tall tails you guys go after. Well the sad thing about it is most of them ain't tall tails, Melissa. Oh yeah they are. No. Oh yeah they are. You shot me. But no. In the freaking head. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. Yeah you say that now but I think it probably was. It was not. It yeah, was a ricochet. I think so. Oh, folks, we have a lot of fun. We argue like this all the time. So don't don't take it personal. We just, that's how we are. So there, we've got our red heat set. Now to the next step of this is back to our black paint. And this little bitty sponge brush that's cut into a square. Let me get me a papered towel down here. Because I want to dab that off on that paper towel. We're going to follow the lateral line down this bait. Just like that. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to get us a little bit more. Dab that excess off. And we're going to follow the lateral line on this side. of the bait. Just like that. Okay, goodbye little square sponge. Goodbye black paint. Goodbye paper towel. It's got black paint all over it. Now we're going to heat set that and then we'll move on to our next step folks. Which in this step, I'm going to turn this black to green. How are you going to do that, ugly dog? Well, right here. Iridescent. Iridescent green. Y'all have seen the video where I turned a complete black lure to a green lure. I actually have a video up on how I did that. So just iridescent green. I push my glasses up, folks. They're falling off the end of my head. 
My wife says I need a bigger nose and that wouldn't happen. <laughs> I did tell you that, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> so see folks, she is mean to me. I wasn't lying to you. start turning this dude green. Flash it right down the side. Look at that, baby. Mm -hmm. Turning green. I wish it was that easy to make money. So let me heat set that a little bit. Don't forget the nose, fat boy. Strange. <laughs> okay, there we go. I have mm. turned that black to green. It's pretty. So, we'll get this Shimmery. brush cleaned out and get it dried up and uh, get some epoxy on it. Then I'll get it in the mail to you, Mr. Stacy, and see what you think. So, uh, let me clean this brush right quick. You know, it was hard to tell in those pictures exactly those colors, but that's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. He let me know, and I can adjust them. Uh, I'll guarantee you that bait will catch fish. What bait in here won't catch fish? Other than putting a hook in your nose and throwing you in the water. You mess with me, I'm going to put my hat on. Yeah, this is for when I paint lures, lures for up north, folks. See, I just tuck both ears under that dude. Booga, 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 booga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brush is clean. Yeah, it's almost clean. I ain't happy with that. So are you waiting on the how to clean the airbrush video I think it comes to be coming out Monday of next week not this coming week the next week yes so yes so all you guys waiting on that it's coming out I'm excited to do it I'm gonna have a when I bought my airbrush kit it come with a set of instructions and we will have the instructions put into the video to where you can look at the instructions and uh, learn how to clean your airbrush properly. Uh, if you put your airbrush back together and notice a little bit of an air escaping air, you got O-rings inside, you can just take chapstick and put around the threads and screw Save it back it on. Save it for the video! Save it for the video! What are you doing? Just a little tip. <laughs> I'm going to tip you out of that chair. No, you're not. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to change the eyes up. Stacy, it had kind of a gold eye on it. I'm going to put a red eye on it. Uh, is oh, what, it's going to look sharp. Is what I want to do there, buddy. It's a challenge. You can do that if you want. Yeah, but I try to make the remakes you know pretty close to what they were I also got another exciting video came coming up a guy brought me a hula popper and he wants it redone it's antique it belonged it's that black one behind you it belonged to his dad which is my dad my brother brought it it was one that my dad had and he's wanting it redone so he can put it up because he'll never use it 
Because he's got as much tackle as I got. Oh no, he has way more than you. Well, he... I doubt he has more than I have, Melissa. You know how many lures is in this shop? You know I don't want to know how many lures are in this shop. No. And then you know how many of those lures he got out of this shop? Yeah, but you're not keeping these. You're... Yeah, it's... You know, you're at It's least sentimental to both of us because it was daddy's. I understand so, that. I still say Terry has more lures than you do. Keep it, keeping lures in my tackle box lures. I'm going to go over there with my camera and I'm going to do a what's in my tackle box with Terry's lures and just show you how many he has. Because I don't think you even know. He just got 10 more <laughs> yesterday. <Huh. laughs> this my little brother. I take care of him best I can. He take care of me best he can, so it's just one of those things. And he just annoys me. You annoy him. And? So it's a two-way road there, <laughs> cheeky girl. Oh yeah, folks, we have a lot of fun doing this. We're not really ever mad at each other like y'all think we are, but... I don't think they think we're mad at each other. I think they completely relate. Most of them have been married long enough to know. Probably. 26 years wears on a person. <laughs> One year wears on a person. <laughs> One month. The day after. <laughs> when they say the honeymoon's over, it's over. Yep. So that's how that works. First time he farted and held, held my head under the covers. <laughs> it was over. That's on our honeymoon. No, it was a couple days after, but it was... We was in red, uh, in the mountains. Yeah. On our honeymoon. I had to let you know right quick what you married. Yay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <clears throat> that needs to dry just a little bit more. Hi, right, folks. We're back. Gonna get Stacy's challenge. Number two on his vintage lure. Epoxy. Well, it's a 1.5 square bill that we did this on, and we're going to have one in one of the BSI. Maybe I can get it to come out of there. Now let's get our other port up on our hardener. Get her mixed up here. Basically, I hope I got close there, buddy. If I didn't, we'll adjust the colors and do it again. Come here, Bob. This is where it's really going to start standing out, buddy. Once we start putting the epoxy on them. thought it was going to get past me, but it didn't.
There we go. Mm. Shimmery. So let's get it hung up over here to dry. <clears throat> and uh, we'll be back when it's dry to finish the video. You folks have a blessed day and we'll catch you later. Having problems, sir? Nope, I got it. You know I'm the man with no plan. Oh, there we go. We're gonna have to get a close-up camera for over here. So it's in the mail. It's in the mail. <laughs>